Hello again, Jerome here for the final day of Crapmas 2023. One game left. It's gotta be a good one. I swear to God. Let's open it and find out. Motherfucking Batman Forever for the Sega Genesis. Ah, uh, can something be any more 90s than that? This game was uh, based on my favorite Batman film, Batman Forever, which I've happened to see several times in the movie theaters, as well as the drive-in in 1995. I think I saw it 12 or 13 times. Uh, I know it sounds excessive, but back then you couldn't just re-watch a movie by checking out some footage online. You had to actually go back and see the movie if you wanted to see it again. And being a 7, 8 year old in 1995, uh, this was like the movie for me. I mean, hot on the heels of all the movies Jim Carrey had made the previous years, The Mask Dumb and Dumber and Ace Ventura, we was the villain in the new Batman flick. So this was just like, it was like multiply awesome times sex this was the greatest freaking movie ever and it actually was and there was a plethora of games uh for the super nintendo sega genesis had the same type of game this game notably uh which also had some handheld ports but yeah um so first off exploring i'm trying to do the grapple gun here um just to get up on the other level and I've tried everything. On the Super Nintendo, it's some weird combination of select B and up or something. So on the Sega Genesis, after 20 minutes, not kidding, I finally figured it out. It's B and C together, plus the up arrow right after B and C. Not at the same time as B and C, but right after. Um, you've got these uh, riddles, uh, courtesy of the Riddler, which if you figure out, uh, you can get extra items and stuff. And, uh, well, yeah, you just basically go from left to right and it's kind of like a Mortal Kombat thing where you have to beat up people and you have the uppercuts and uh, stuff but yeah once you've mastered the grapple the game actually opens up and becomes a lot less uh, uh, where the fuck do I go it's actually I wouldn't say it's a good game like it's it's really flawed I have no idea why uh, they ever it's a mix of a lot of things like you have your regular um, punch kicks and stuff but you also can have your gadgets at the beginning of every level you can choose gadgets um, there's also these weird, uh, the level design is kind of all over the place. You've got these weird foreground items, like here I'm just trying to go down, which is another weird combination of, of, of controls that I've never, uh, I didn't quite understand. I just button mash and hold down and eventually they let, they let me go down. Um, I should have really looked up the controls before playing this game and I think a lot of people should have. Um, but yeah, uh, this was back in an era where the, the instruction manuals was pretty much uh, like a bible, you had to have it. But once you've mastered the Batarangs, uh, which is really just a Hadouken, honestly, it's a down forward, uh, a down forward punch, um, you, you just have to master the other gadgets or other like fighting game combinations. Once you figure that out, the game becomes exponentially easier. Um, that being said, there's a lot of, like, uh, fuckery about, like, you can see here them being juggled to death by a bunch of, a bunch of dill holes. Um, yeah. It's, uh, it, it can get very frustrating, uh, especially on the higher difficulties. Oh, and this is one of those great 90s games that were like, well, if you're playing this on easy, you're only gonna get to go up to level 4. Uh, if you're playing this on easy and you're, you beat level 4, uh, you're gonna get uh, kicked out to the main menu uh, play with a higher difficulty, please So the first level as you saw was the Arkham Asylum, which in the actual movie is not that well uh, Seen but in the director's cut of the film or the original cut of the film There was actually an opening in Arkham Asylum, and that's what it was representing now here We have the bank where uh, Two-Face uh, the second bank of Gotham that Two-Face could hardly resist um, So yeah a lot of secrets and lots of stuff to do if you know how to grapple uh, it's it's again this game it's really not as bad i'm being very charitable but it's really not as bad if you take the time to learn the controls but i think that's one of its biggest downsides is it's really not a pick up and play kind of game especially if you don't have the manual uh, there's going to be a lot of guesswork and i i do find that um 
this game should have just been a dumb uh, final fight kind of game, like other Batman games of the era. It should have just been really simple. Uh, one button for grapple, one button for punch, one button for jump. Uh, and then uh, if you press the punch button harder, uh, I, I guess you could do a... Uh, you could do uh, kicks or whatever, uh, or a combination for the grapple, whatever, it's fine, but this is really like Mortal Kombat control, so you're pressing up jumps, uh, uh, which you can imagine if you've played Sub-Zero Mythologies or this game or any other game that tries to have these Mortal Kombat type of controls uh, for anything else than a fighting game, pressing up to jump is really not a way to do any sort of platforming, and this game's going <laughs> to demand platforming from you. Um, again, if you play a lot of Mortal Kombat, uh, the, the combats, you can just do the, 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 the punches or the, the, the uppercuts or even the sweeps. Uh, there's some variety and stuff to do, but again, it's just all context sensitive. Here we have, uh, that cool scene in the movie where a Two-Face escapes with the safe full of boiling acid. Uh, uh, but now it becomes a thing where if you get punched off, which you do a lot, uh, <laughs> Uh, you lose lives, uh, and it's easy. This is one of the easiest parts to just get game over on. Um, you can also play as Robin, and uh, his his costume is a little different, um, being that when they were making the game, uh, they didn't have access to the final Robin costume uh, from the game, nor the uh, final final Batman costume. So they have some slight variations based on concept art, and in the concept art, uh, the Robin costume, if you look at some of the official merchandising, there's a really fun document online. Uh, if you're really, because I'm a big fan of this movie and everything that it's, <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the dick grapple and the laser shield just like in the movie um but yes you can find a, a, a if you're into the graphic design or whatever it's really interesting you can find the, the style guide for all the merchandising for this for this uh, thing on, on batman on film 1995 um just try to find that website and you'll have uh, access to, to this sort of like act uh, this uh the style guide that all companies that were making like like lunch boxes and stuff had to sort of adhere the the actual artwork you'd have to use for for these things. Uh, now here I'm backstage at the circus uh, for that that scene in the movie where they're at uh, the Gotham Circus, and then afterwards uh, we're hi hunting for Two Face uh, in a factory, and again a lot of uh, a lot of fuckery. And this I believe is the last level you can play uh, if you are playing on easy which seems a bit harsh considering that this game is relentless. Uh, here, for example, I'm just trying to make it across, but I get hurt and pushed back. Um, to, but the only way to go through is, is pretty much to take the damage. And then, of course, you have these wonderful one-hit kill uh, pistons, uh, just to add to more fun. Um, but yeah, like, the game is um, it's really not... It's not, it's not easy. It does get to the point where it, it really stops being fun after a while. Um, I'm trying to see this really as somebody in 1995 would, would play this game. Uh, there were games were harder, games were just meaner back then, and because they wanted you to rent, keep renting it at Blockbuster and stuff. Here we are at the um, at the Enigma Tech party. Uh, his entrance was good. Your entrance was good, but his was better. Difference showmanship. So we have this uh, this thing going, and they have all these weird enemies, like the the Riddler guys with the masks and everything. Again, not in the film. Even the Two Face guys, some of them look like zoot suits. Uh, they only had like the punks with the the the, the balaclavas and and the, the leather vests and stuff. They didn't have all these uh, these sort of weird nineteen uh, forties uh, uh, jazz singers. Um, here we have like a cool precursor to the Mortal Kombat 3 subway level. I, I believe this is this is still pretty cool. And uh, even if the Super Nintendo is slightly better graphic wise, the Sega Genesis does some cool stuff. Yeah, like the health bar animations and some of the uh, some of the bassy tones of the the Sega Gems system is always appreciated. I really really like uh, the Sega Genesis. Um, uh, basically their, their their sound chip uh, the gem system I, I really enjoy that um, more gadgets on display here you got a hologram and stuff it's still cool uh, then we are in Wayne Manor uh, for the scene where, where the, the villains attack Wayne Manor um, <laughs> look at this fire fire flamethrower dude that's <laughs> sure buddy um, but then you get to go to the Batcave uh, for that scene where the Riddler destroys the Batcave. So if you haven't seen Batman forever, this is really a spoiler-filled review. Um, but yeah, no, I, I 
really a big fan of everything Batman Forever. And uh, we are in the Batcave uh, with one of the most underrated Batmobiles up there. And oh my god, Jerome is there with the Batmobile. I take back every mean thing I said about this game. This is the best game ever. Oh man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. It's it's not the best game ever. In fact, it's probably, again, one of the worst in terms of, of user. But this Batmobile, man. Uh, then you go to Nigmatech Island uh, for the... Claw Island, sorry, which is where Nigmatech is situated for the, the final, final fight. Uh, the final fight, I swear. Um, but yeah. Uh, overall, I think this game just needed to be simpler in its controls it's it's just the control scheme that completely kills it uh, the gadget system the 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 grappling hook some of the level design uh, some of the difficulty but again the difficulty i guess is due to it being a a highly prized rental like i mean it was the biggest movie of 1995 uh, so it's normal that uh, this movie uh, tie-in game is, is uh, a priority for, for like Bloodbuster and stuff to rent. And here's some cool uh, some cool effects here with the, the, the Claw Island uh, platform raises. Again, just like in the movie. So there's, there are some movie set pieces once you get past the, those first few levels um, that feel kind of cinematic. Like this would have been... Um, had this been just slightly, just easier, for Christ's sake, it would have been a really decent game. Probably a game that's fondly remembered. Um, if I, honestly, if it was as about as difficult, or at least uh, played as well as the Konami uh, Adventures of Batman and Robin game, like this, this would have been like honestly a pretty cool game. The digitized graphics were, were very popular when this game came out, so the it, graphic-wise, it might seem like old hat now, but it was very, very popular at the time. Uh, here we have like one of the craziest puzzles, though. Um, you have to light up these platforms. Uh, to do these like weird jumps and stuff and then uh, uh, but the platforms they they, they become uh, they, they turn off automatically so you have um, basically to just keep doing it until you do it but it, it's it's also on a timer and it's weird and and uh, it's not just a question of turning on all of the, the the puzzles but after that you get to go fight Riddler holograms and then the real Riddler look at that Jim Carrey and the leotard cool um, <laughs> Uh, and then after that, after that, finally, you're in the final fight with Two-Face, who is a cheap mother. Like, for real, seriously, uh, this guy, like, blocks everything, uh, uh he, he keeps trying to, he keeps trying to fuck on you, but, you know what? Uh, if he's gonna be a cheap bastard, I am also going to be a very, very cheap bastard, and I'm just gonna spam the Batarangs, uh, non-stop for, like, the equivalent of his health bar, so let's say we fast forward, like, three solid minutes of me throwing a Batarang to whittle down his health, but no joke, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously just gonna beat Two-Face by spamming the, the Batarangs, uh, uh, boom. Oh, come on, yeah, okay, good, all right, and here we finally fight uh, the real boss, which was actually a scene that was planned for the movie but cut out where the Riddler has a giant Riddler suit. Um, it's in some of the concept arts, it's in the original script, uh, some of the original screenplays, it's in uh, uh, this game, uh, so big riddle, um, but yeah, he's, he's kind of tough. The trick to beat him, though, is to do a lot of jump kicks, like if you can do, like, you avoid his stuff and do a lot of, uh, a lot of jump kicks. Um, this is gonna take me a couple times to, to, to do it properly though. Uh, but yeah, jump kicks and then eventually you, uh, you are going to beat this guy. Uh, just, you know, keep trying and, uh, you'll get him. And then of course you have the Riddler, but like, screw you Riddler, I'm done playing games. I'm gonna go save Chase Meridian, um, who is clearly not played by Nicole Kidman, but whatever, she's hot anyways. This is, uh... This is cool. And then, of course, you have the end of the game. Uh, you're welcome. And uh, not uh, Seal's kiss from a rose. So nobody's just going to go screaming, Baby! Unfortunately. But, uh, yeah. Not that bad a game, but still... Uh, this, this one was rough. Really rough. Riddle me this, riddle me that. What's made of plastic but is actually scat? This game... Well, uh, I guess that was it for Christmas. That's all I'm getting this year. Uh, hope you guys got something better. And if you didn't, well, that's life, man. That's just life. Hopefully next year, uh, 
some kind of cataclysmic situation like a meteorite or something and they're gonna burn this planet clean of its filth and we won't have to uh, come back for another round of this. Well, that was it for Crap Miss 2023. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and subscribe. We'll have more videos for you soon. For real this time. And, uh, yeah. Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. Bye-bye.